So in previous exercises, we've seen uh, different operations on open sets, like unions and intersections. We've seen that arbitrary unions of open sets are still open, and finite intersections of open sets are open. So we want to see what happens when, or what goes wrong, when that intersection is over an infinite collection of open sets, and how it's not always open. So the, the problem is we want to give an example of a weird collection. So let's define our elements of this collection. So we say um, that u sub m is the set of all points p in rn for any n, it doesn't really matter here, such that such that the, the distance from p to the origin, or the norm of p, is less than 1 over m. So we have, well, we now have a collection, an infinite collection, of u sub m for all m greater than or equal to 1, because we, wanna, we don't want to worry about m equals 0. So we now take this intersection. You can think of these as kind of like an open ball centered at the origin of radius 1 over m. So for example, in R2, we can take, say this is u sub 1. Well, it's the open ball of radius 1 that is everything not including its boundary, open set. So, OK, we have this, we want to take this intersection now. Well, after a bit of work, um, very easy to show, you can see that the only element that's inside this intersection is the origin, because it's less than 1 over m for every m, and it's the only point that is so, that whose norm is such. So you can see that this, inter this intersection is only the origin. Well, from previous work, we've seen that any singleton set consisting of a single point is a closed subset of Rn. So here we have an infinite collection of open sets whose intersection is definitely not open. And that's it.